big fan of Denzel in this. A big fan of Sicily. I really loved <laughs> that. I was just expecting. <laughs> so happy to just spend time. This is not what I was expecting from an Equalizer movie. Me I was either. like, oh, it's just going to be like action, 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 killing, killing, killing. And it was Denzel sitting with a coffee and a napkin. And I was like, yes. Why is there not more of this? You know how the trip is, yes. is like... It's two men eating <laughs> their way Who through. is it in the trip? It's Robert, Rob Ryden Rob Ry- and Yeah, Steve Rob Ryden Coogan. and Steve Coogan. Yes. And I was like, oh, screw them. Yeah. Bring on Denzel. Just kind of like sitting in cafes in Italy. De- a three-hour movie of Denzel Washington just having a tea and reading a book in a small town in Sicily. Up for it. He's Absolutely so charismatic. And he's Denzel. He, he just draws all eyes. And when he smiles... It feels so earned, and I love that. I just love his smile. I love Denzel. Tell me, did you love this movie? I really enjoyed it. So let me kind of tell you where I'm coming from here, because I knew of The Equalizer, Mm -hmm. but I had not seen any of the three movies. Uh So I watched the first one to kind of get to know the character. Mm -hmm. Really enjoyed that. Just a a perfectly formed little standalone action romp. Brutal. Love a bit of those. Really brutal. Yeah. Really violent. I really love, yeah. love how violent these yeah. films are. And obviously Denzel is just an unimpeachable <sighs> actor. So Beautiful. I recently watched him in Malcolm X, Spike Lee's film, mm-hmm. on the big screen oh, at wow. the Film and Film Festival. Just a, put, give me seven hours mm-hmm. of Denzel Washington doing stuff. Yeah. We'll lap it up. Um But I had not seen the second one, and I kind of did that on purpose Mm -hmm. because I'm thinking it's the third one in a a trilogy of action films. Do I need to, do listeners need to see the two previous ones in order to enjoy three? The answer is no. Yeah. It absolutely does stand alone. And I actually quite like this mini franchise of action films because on the one hand it's quite interesting that Antoine Fuqua has directed all three of them Mm -hmm. usually they depart after setting the tone it's a continuation of his creative collaboration with Denzel obviously starting with Training Day which coincidentally is also in cinemas now on re-release good times for Denzel fans yeah never seen that on the big screen me either and I really want to see it on the big screen properly and it works as a standalone and there's something I don't know if you got this feeling Mm. it's incredibly violent yeah (laughs) the thing that I really loved about it, why I had a good a good time with mm. it, is he's kind of just a nosy <laughs> person. Yes. Yeah, Robert, Roberto, in the film, he's kind of just, he's incapable of minding his own business, True. even though he keeps saying that he just wants to mind his own business. Robert, you're not. You've spent three movies getting involved in other people's business. <laughs> they don't even know you. Yeah, you don't know them. <laughs> they don't know you. You have no business with their affairs. Yeah. But you insert yourself in their drama because the character decides that it's immoral or wrong in some way and he wants to write things. Small things. And I kind of love that that is the central goofy aspect of it. (laughs) There's no bigger thing. Uh, I think one of the where the Equalizer 3 kind of falls flat a little bit for Mm -hmm. me is when they try to expand this world and make it more into a conspiracy and the CIA is involved and all this like other jazz and I know the, the central character is, is this, a retired intelligence officer which is where he gets all his mad killing sk- mm. skills from and his deep uh, insecurity about his own goodness as yes. a human being great material but it's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. I think I really enjoyed the Kimura because obviously we see, we have an idea of what the mafia looks like. And I think they did yeah, such a very a... heavily tattooed hot Italian man. Yes. That's what the mafia looks like. <laughs> yes, this is what They this love is. spaghetti. When they're all sitting around eating spaghetti while they're planning how to kill Robert, <laughs> I just thought was a perfect scene. It was just because we never see that. Like yeah. we never see the McDonald's, like if it was in England, right, it would be like McDonald's in a garage. That was where they'd be plotting. This is like bowls of spaghetti around a really lovely bit of marble in an Italian kitchen. It's quite stereotypical. It's brilliant. I absolutely loved it. What are stereotypes if not having a grain of truth in there somewhere? Is that not what the Kimura do? I mean, I would never know. And I frankly do not wish to know. I do not want to get involved in other people's business. I'm fine. What did you think of the reuniting of Dakota Fanning and Denzel Washington since Man on Fire? Oh, I... I have not seen Madame Fire. Oh, okay. But now that you mention it, I guess it has a little bit more gravitas mm. than I gave it. Uh, what happened to Dakota Fanning? 
Where is she? Where is she up to? I haven't seen her in a long time. She's been a bit overshadowed by her little sister. I think. Yeah, that's true. Um, although it was a real, it was great to see her return. Yeah, I really liked Dakota Fanning, and I think I always forget how much I like her until I see, her and I'm like, oh, she's pretty cool. It was a good reminder that she was amazing. Yes. But I tell you what, you know how I mentioned that um, I'm not a fan of this divvying up one story into two overlong films. Mm -hmm. The Equalizer is kind of a good antidote for that. Mm. It's one story. It's like quite a fairly simple character. It's a very, you know, standalone premise. Each one of the movies is a standalone story. So you go in, you don't need to, you don't need any other knowledge. No. The movie gives you all the ingredients to yes. so enjoy it. It gives you the flashbacks time. as well it if does. you need them. Yeah. So you know exactly, and it works even if you don't get the flashbacks. There's yeah. like one or two little allusions to the first, to some side characters in the first film. They don't really matter that much. So this is my greatest endorsement of this film is that if you're into action and uh, if you're into action films, this is a perfectly enjoyable film. Obviously, Denzel is a massive one of our greatest movie stars. Yeah. So if you're a fan of Denzel, you like it. If you're a fan of action movies, you like it. I don't know if there's a big equalizer hive on the Internet. I'm sure they're going to dig it. Yeah. I mean, the, the, I think the kills are so beautifully choreographed. And I love the drama that Robert McCall brings because he seems so unassuming. And yet he has this real flair for the dramatic that he loves to crack out every yeah. so often. And uh, I kind of love the humour in this because it's not it's embedded in such a different way than something like Mission Impossible, which might be like a one liner. Mm. Or the joke here is this aging action hero who is actually still very believable as somebody who could potentially bring down all of these much younger villains. Um, I did did make me wonder, we've got, I've just got an email about The Expendables 4, which is coming up. Mm. Um, we're quite used to seeing older action men on our screens, mm -hmm. obviously Tom Cruise. And uh, uh, what about action women? Like where are the kind of aging female actors who can do this kind of stuff who are given these sorts of roles do they exist and if they if they don't is it because we wouldn't believe it and why wouldn't we well i can only think i mean would you even categorize shirley Theron as an aging action star because she's oh. an action star in her own right i actually don't know how old shirley Theron is i don't know either and the internet is not working so we can't look it up <laughs> But I also think of Helen Mirren has had some involvement with the Fast franchise. Mm -hmm. I believe she's in The Expendables. Too. She's in Red. Yeah, she, Red. That's the one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can think of more people. Oh, well, Angela Bassett. Although she's she's done a bit of action, although mm -hmm. that's obviously not what we know her for. Yes. Similarly with Denzel, he's done action. Yeah. But he's just so much bigger than just one genre. Now, who else am I thinking of? Because these these films do exist, but they're few and far between. It would be interesting yeah. to to kind of watch a few actors as they get older mm. to see if they will kind of hold that same space that people like Tom Cruise, Denzel, Bruce Willis back mm. in the day have had. It'd be nice to see that. Well, there's it's an interesting. I'm just thinking now out loud, and we don't have time to go deep into this thought of what is happening with the genre as it is. You know. Because all of these aging 1980s and 90s action stars that have that are leading these big franchises, I don't think it's because they are aging action stars. It's because they are big movie stars who are sometimes known for their action roles or sometimes you don't know them for their action fare. So it becomes kind of an incongruous appeal mm. to see them mm -hmm. perform those kind of stunts and those roles. Mm -hmm. Um, but where is the genre as a whole? Like we've had quite a lot of really big new franchises and successes in that space. Most of them have been male led. They mm -hmm. are great female characters, but they tend to be secondary. Charlize is one of the few mm -hmm. that has led her own, you know, Atomic Blonde and a couple of others, her own um, standalone action films, but they have not become franchises yet. No, interesting. Food for thought. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? They are. And if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.